Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm finally getting around to replacing this shift boot. I will show you that in just a minute. So uh, I bought this shift knob with that, uh, the paint matched reverse lockout. So we're gonna be replacing that today as well as the shift boot and maybe we'll get to the e-brake uh, boot. We'll see. So first off, let's uh, untwist this, unscrew that. Okay, so that's off. And I need to take off this stuff because the reverse lockout requires a uh, something other than this flat piece right here, and the spring underneath. It, we get a new spring as well. So I'm gonna head. It, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, and then I will show you what the uh, the new shift boot looks like. All right, so we are checking out the shift boot now and the e-brake boot. So this is from In Focus, and this is what I got. So this is Cherry Blossom Amour. So I'm sure as uh, I'm sure many of you, if you're following me, you're also following another Focus ST channel, uh, Ben. I think his last name is uh, Lovren. Hopefully I'm saying that correct. So shout out to him. Awesome channel over there. I watch his stuff all the time. But he uh, maybe was it recent? I don't know. Maybe it was a few months ago now. Uh, maybe six months ago now. He went and got the Cherry Blossom Amour from In Focus, and I thought it looked absolutely awesome. So I also went and got the same thing. So this is the shift boot. Really like this touch right here. In Focus, really cool. And it comes with all these like uh, pre-cutout holes all over the place that will line up with what we need it to line up with. And here's the e-brake uh, boot. So again, it comes with these uh, pre pre cut out holes, pre cut out holes, and uh, okay, really cool stuff. I like this touch a lot. Nice. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. Um, all right. So let's go back to the car and pop out the old shift boot. Okay. So back in the car now. Uh, we're gonna remove the shift boot. So it might look a bit daunting at first but it's actually pretty easy to pop out let me put the camera down and we'll do that really quick all right so the way you do it is you kind of just like grab the material and you just pull just pull up like that and that's it so so it is out now so we need to uh carefully remove this and there we go. This whole piece comes out. And that is what is uh, left behind. All right, so back in the garage. Move this to the side. All right, so I guess take this out. And then we are going to want to push this whole thing inside out. Okay. And so we can remove this arm. like that okay so put that over there all right so now we need to pop out this plastic piece so we can remove that reverse lockout and replace it with my billets works billet works reverse lockout that's custom for the hybrid actually no I think you can use them on other ones but whatever I have the hybrid shift knob and it's uh, paint matched all right, so let's try to do this. So I think the way to go is probably to shove a screwdriver here and here and try to get this thing out. So let's try that. Okay, so I got the piece off, but I didn't record it because I was doing this for like probably almost 30 minutes at this point and I was getting really frustrated. But I got the plastic piece off. The plastic piece didn't break. Uh, people say, if this breaks, you're screwed. Well, you gotta buy a new one, and that sucks. It didn't break this, but I kinda destroyed the the stock reverse lockout. That was kind of my bad. So, if I can try to recreate what I did. So, okay, I'm putting it back on. <clears throat> so, if you can see... So, okay. So, you have these these pieces that come down right here i was trying to wedge the screwdriver in here but then i realized the the real sticking point is actually this piece so i had a screwdriver uh wedged in between here and then i could let it go and it was just like really stuck and i took another screwdriver and i did the same thing on the other side 
So then you have two screwdrivers sticking out like this. And then I took this one right here and that's where I wedged it in here. And it was like really hard to do without breaking this plastic. And then once I wedged it in, I kind of like worked it out. And then this whole entire thing just popped off. I also like stabbed myself in the process right there. But during that, when I wedged it, like the wall right here just like cracked. I don't really know how that happened, but like here's a here's a piece of it. Uh, yeah. So that's a bummer. But I mean, I am replacing the reverse lockout. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say, because if you're going to be replacing this and you still need this piece, I mean, I just completely like ruined it. So I guess be more careful than I was. <laughs> so unless you have a new one of these, then it doesn't matter, I guess. But we need this plastic piece. This is the important, this is the important bit. So this is unharmed. So that's good. All right, so let's move on. Okay, so we also need the plastic frame that this is on. So I'm just going to try to work this stuff off. Let's see what kind of luck I have because we just need the plastic frame. All right, so I got that piece off. Okay, so we got this off. So here is the... Ow, that fucking hurt. Reverse lockout. Nice and destroyed. Old shift boot. Not destroyed. So, you know, that's a plus. And the, uh, the shift boot plastic uh, frame thing. So... I can see Ford put a little bit of it, it, adhesive on the corners, so I don't think it's necessary to have the adhesive. Um, it's probably fine to go without it. However, I do have some adhesive. Let me go grab that really quick. Okay, so um, I think in focus or maybe that other shift boot that I bought recommended uh, contact cement. So I believe I got this from Lowe's and I also picked up some brushes. Um, so I'm, I'm actually going gonna, gonna to throw the shift boot on there now, and I'm going to see how snug it is. And I might use this, but like I said, I don't think this is necessary. So let's see how this fits on the plastic frame, and then we'll go from there. All right, so this is all done. It's on the plastic frame. So this is the back side, with this being the front. So this is how it will sit in the car. So we need to take that plastic piece, and this side needs to be facing like this. So it's like that facing the front and it needs to be upside down kind of like this so we're going to take this and we're going to slide it up in here just like so just like that with that same orientation and then we're going to take the reverse lockout and so this slit right here needs to be facing back so just like this and we're gonna go ahead and put that in there okay so i turned it inside out made it a little bit easier so you can see this piece is facing the front with that slit kind of yeah right there facing the back so let's go ahead and put this back like this and we can see it's nice and snug looks really good um last thing we need to do is take this thing and hook it back up so let's go ahead and turn this back inside out and hook this piece back on so it's going to go this way okay and you can see that it'll like line up perfectly. So, all right, let's go take this to the car and put this in. Okay, so in the car now, so we need to put this piece on there correctly. So it just slides on like that. And then just make sure that you follow it up with the, the reverse lockout. Okay, so it's on there now. So let's go ahead and clip all this stuff back in. Alright, 
So now that everything's there, oh, sorry. I had to turn the car on because the daytime running lights uh, turned off like randomly and I thought the car died. So I just turned it on just to uh, double check, but we are, we are okay. Anyways, so let's go ahead and put the spring on. This is the spring that comes with the, uh, the reverse lockout. And then we're gonna use this uh, flat piece right here. So let's go ahead and thread this on. So we need to thread it far enough down to where the reverse lockout still works. So let's try like here. So if you can see, it still does this. So let's, um, all right. So we are in reverse. So that looks like it works. The next thing is to take this guy and thread it on there like so and then we need to take two wrenches and we need to lock these pieces together even though they already I think I kind of lined them up pretty well I think they're already locked together but I'm gonna do it nonetheless let me put the camera back here all right so take your two wrenches Okay, so I believe those are nice and locked together now. So it's looking good. Last piece of the puzzle is our nice hybrid. Let's go ahead and uh, put that on here. Twist it on. Nice and tight, all right. good all right let's try the reverse lockout here okay cool we made it into reverse all right so everything is looking good got the beautiful cherry blossom amore uh shift boot here um i might go back in the future and take pop this off and like put a little bit of glue to get it to stay but it kind of looks like it's wedged pretty well in there you just like mess around with it i guess but yeah so that looks cool um the e-brake i did not do and as you can see it is uh 12 23 so it is pretty late um also i need to address why i haven't been making any videos recently um i started a new job and the hours are 7 30 to 5 so i've been going to bed relatively early compared to what I used to do and I'm at work all day um, so the channel is kind of taking a hit but I promise I will try to balance everything out and start producing more consistent content I think it's been about maybe a month um, from my last video besides the the shift knob one which didn't take very long but anyway so that's a little small update but yeah I'm gonna try and uh, do some more stuff with the car but this is what it looks like. Got the cherry blossom, space, cosmic space, uh, red shift knob, and the reverse lock. I think that looks pretty freaking sweet. And the e brake boot, I will save till next time because I am tired and I need to go to sleep soon. So, all right. Appreciate everybody watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.